Hello guys, welcome to another video with Cass on the Mizuma channel. Today I have a very simple concept to show you guys, which is a uh, levitation device using the shulker guy in here. Uh, as you can see, I am in survival. I am sitting on top of this shulker guy and he basically cannot see me. Uh, but once I step on the pressure plate, then I'm gonna get hit by this guy and I'm gonna get the levitation effect and it's going to last long enough for me to be able to get on a platform like this uh, which is nine blocks above the floor. The concept itself is not new, but I've never seen it done so simple before that it doesn't even require any redstone. Let's take a look at how this works. So down here I have a beacon and this is here for regeneration and uh, uh, resistance because the shulker is obviously going to attack you uh, with the levitation thing, uh, with the projectile and then uh, you need to have the beacon for regeneration. Well, you don't need it's optional but it's great to have. And on top here you can have uh, a glass block of any color if you wanna change the color. Remember that the, this design is focused on fanciness. Uh, and here of course we have the shulker. Uh, and then I, I think I have a command here to get rid of this guy and reveal to you that there is a fence gate inside this guy. So once you step on the pressure plate, uh, the fence gate opens, letting the shulker, uh, allowing him to see you. So then you step on the on the uh, shulker and uh, yeah, you're going, he's going to see you and eventually attack you. You can also use buttons if you prefer, but sometimes the, the timing for buttons is just too short for the shulker to see you, but it's great. Uh, on the other hand, because uh, for servers at least, nobody's going to just run around and step on buttons that activate automatically. Once you have your shulker, which I'm not gonna lie, is kind of hard to get uh, and transport from the end dimension to whatever place you want, uh, bringing him here is not the, that big of a deal. So the thing you wanna do is to place your fence gate first and make sure it's open. This is very important so you don't mess it up. And here I will just going to, I'm just going to summon uh, a shulker. And once again, uh, capturing a shulker is not a easy task. So you might want to look on, on a tutorial for this. Uh, and then make sure that this guy is not going to escape in, by any means. And something interesting also, uh, I don't think the player can push a minecart when a shulker is inside it. So make sure to be very strategic uh, with your golden rail placement. So this is why I have a button here because it's, it's, it is actually necessary to move the shulker. So once you have all of this, uh, get rid of the temporary blocks and make sure to close this guy. Just press the button once and then the fence gate should close. Okay, now I can go into game mode zero and demonstrate to you that sometimes the, the timing for buttons is just too short and you basically need to get lucky to get um, a attacked by a projectile. See, he, he couldn't see me. Yeah, and but now now I got lucky and then it worked. So I prefer uh, to use. Uh, can I go down? Can I fly? <laughs> so I prefer to use the pressure plates because the pressure plates will keep this thing open until the shulker sees you. So you kind of have to to stand uh, halfway on top of the pressure plate and halfway on top of the shulker, and then this is going to guarantee. Uh, that uh, you're going to be successful to get the levitation effect and then of course the, the the fence gate will close automatically immediately as you leave so you don't get hit by other projectiles. This is a very clean system that can be really useful for builders especially uh, since builders sometimes don't want to change uh, their designs in order to accommodate for things like redstone or even elevators and even with the water elevators well if you're building in the nether for instance you you don't have that option as well so yeah it's a, it, it could be a good option for you guys let me know what you think in the comment section thank you very much for watching and see you later bye